What's going on guys, it's your boy Fox back in the house with another discussion so I'm going to let you know right now uh, if you got something to do I would suggest you go do it and then come back because I want you to buckle yourselves in kids. Uh, this video is probably going to be long. Uh, I don't know how long exactly but you know how I do. But today we are talking about how unordinary might end or how I think not even this is not even how I think it's gonna end this is more or less along the lines like uh I kind of want it to end in not a in a not I don't want to say sad but I don't I don't I don't want there to be a happy ending that's how I feel today and I just wanted to talk about it like you know you know so like say the story ends like you know the the rebellion happens and all that Nimbers defeated John and Serafina live happily ever after whether they're together whether they're just they graduate and they become friends I, I don't know but my thing is like you know I was thinking today you know sometimes life doesn't doesn't go that way just because you realize there's a problem and you're like okay I'm gonna fix it doesn't mean that the problem always gets fixed you feel me like I was talking to Digi on the discord earlier today and I was telling him about this and I was like you know I was like, I want, I don't, I want the story to kind of end in like death, and he was like, you mean, he was like, do you mean like the Amazing Spider-Man and all that, where the where Spider-Man was too slow, and all that? And I was like, no, I mean like you know, sometimes you poke a bear, and sometimes the park ranger will come and save your, save your life, and other times you'll poke the bear, and the park ranger either doesn't show up or a he does show up and you both get killed. You see what I'm saying? Like don't go poking the bear like had you not poked the bear in the first place this situation probably would never have unfolded and in this case it is Arlo provoking John actually you know what? I don't even want to put all the blame on Arlo I'm going to put the blame on society as a whole because it isn't just it wasn't just Arlo that because John already had a very violent temper beforehand but I also feel like that is also because of the hierarchy in general, not not just Arlo, not just you know, um, I can't remember his two friends' names, even though that was his fault. But you know, I, I feel like had John just been left alone, he would have been pretty probably pretty much fine. But no matter what he did, every time he carved out a little slice of happiness for himself, something or someone always came by and snatched it, or they destroyed it. In this case, with Wellston. It was John. John was perfectly fine. He was pretending to be a cripple. Yeah, he got beat up, but he was fine. He had Serafina by his side, his best friend. Everything was copacetic and it was good. And then, our and then, the society, in this case, the corporate main corporate happened to be Arlo. Decided it was like, no, we're gonna bring you back into the hierarchy, whether you like it or not. And now we have what we have, where John has pretty much just single-handedly destroyed each royal, and is taking down and has put the school in a in a very tight spot in a very uh, air, the the whole system is in turmoil right now. It's it's he's getting really close to his goal. Whether it comes to fruition or not, we will have to see what Aura uh, Ch uh, Aura Chan decides to go. Honestly, like I have like, said this, but. I really don't care what, it's not that I don't care, I, like I'll be happy with whatever, with whatever route she takes, but part of me kind of wants it to be like, just because, like, you know, just because they figured out what the problem is, they can't fix it. Whether that be the problem being John needs to learn how to control himself, and even though, yes, they, they everyone in pretty much in this situation is wrong, but you gotta learn how to control it, or whether it be Everyone's like, we gotta stop John, and they just can't do it. Like, no matter what they do, John's just too strong. And at the end of the day, he ends up burning down the hierarchy, creating a whole new system, or he just ends up creating uh, anarchy throughout the whole city or something. I, I, like, I have no doubt in my mind that somehow the government is gonna get involved with this. The school is not gonna be able to handle this. Even though the, we don't know what the headmaster can do, but even as strong as he might be, I don't think he'll be able to handle it for very long. So, you know, 
But I mean, that's really what I wanted to talk about is like what, I, what an ending that I might like. And it's just like I said, take all this with a grain of salt. Nothing, none of this has been confirmed. I haven't really talked to anyone about this or anything like that. But it's just like you know, as a kid, John grew up pretty much being picked on. He was a I, once. If I'm, if any of my facts are like wrong, please correct me. I, I have no problems with that. But you know. For the most part, John was pretty much bullied into the hierarchy. I think he was a late bloomer at his old middle school. And then when he finally came into his powers, everyone still kind of bullied him, but bullied him in the sense of like puffing his ego up. Because as a kid, I, as, from what I've seen with John now, as a kid, I don't think he was ever meant to really rule. He just happened to get like a freakishly strong power, which... It has weaknesses, we know this, but I mean, still. For the most part, his weaknesses are very few. Other than the fact that he's a cripple, but he can fight very well. So, he compensates for it. But, you know, middle school, they made, they pretty much, everyone around him pretty much made him king. And the hierarchy dictated, so it's like, you're the strongest, you're king, do what you do. And then, he went on a power trip. I think most, not, not all, obviously it happens, but you know, I think most people would let the power end up going to their head. It did for John. He ended up getting expelled. And he ended up getting sent into pretty much a concentration camp for like, what, like a, a year or so? And it, it it pretty much gave him PTSD. Like, every time he thinks about uh, back in middle school, he thinks about when he got uh, interrogated and uh, Keon was pretty much in there scrambling, messing with his memories and scrambling his brain. He's terrified of that man. And I'm pretty sure John could beat him in a one-on-one -on -one fight. But the, just the psychological damage that has been done to him by that man is, it runs deep. And I'm pretty sure it runs way deeper than what we thought, uh, no, no, than what we think. So, mind you that. And then after that, John, John was like, you know what, fine. Uh, I will con I will conform to society, but just not in like the manner that is usually dictated. But like, okay, I'm I'm like, by all means, John is John is an elite. We know this. His trick level stays on ten. Period. But he was like, I'm not. He's like, I don't want nothing to do with the hierarchy. I don't I don't want to. I don't want to be a royal. I don't want to be king, jack, ace, whatever. I don't none of that. I just I just want to live a normal life. I want people to leave me alone. It's, as much as possible so he he decided himself he's like I'm, I'm gonna be a cripple like just tell them that I have tell them that my level is the cripple level and you know I'll deal with the consequences as it comes which you know and, to, and really think about that John rather had John played a cripple for two years because he did not want to deal with the hierarchy and his BS he still kind of dealt with it but not in the same way that he had to maybe in middle school because while he was the king, even though he was there, he might have been challenged by people on a daily or a weekly basis. And that just gets tiring. And then on top of that, his, most of his middle school friends all turned on him. And you kind of can't blame them. But still, in his eyes, it was like, I did all this for y'all. And then you treat me like this. You, you're going to stab me in the back. You set me up. Like, let, let's not forget. Yes, John took out his, like, pretty much his whole class. But that's because all of them came at him at once and tried to jump him. One, that shows like that's that's messed up. But two, it also shows off really how strong he is. Ain't no telling how many kids were there. And you could, you know, throw it off to like, all oh, they were middle school and all that. It, it doesn't. Hold up, my computer. Okay, I'm back. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, you know, it... But like I was like, you could throw it off middle school, whatever. It doesn't matter. He beat up his whole class. But in his eyes, it's like, I only became king for y'all. I I did what y'all asked, and I I ruled. He did it poorly. I ruled to the best the best way I knew how, which is not the right way at all. And you know, I think after his little session with Keon, he he realized this, and he was like, okay, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna chill out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just not gonna be a part of it. I'm just gonna live my life as a cripple. It'll be hard, but you know, at least I won't have to worry about being betrayed or anything like that. And then he met Serafina, and you know, at first she didn't like him, but John was an anomaly to her because you know Serafina's whole life was she, she's an elite too, but you know she lived that privileged life. Like her parents are wealthy, people catered to her every whim, and when they didn't she really wouldn't have to do too much to make them bend she and she was over that 
And then, like, on top of that, the whole drama with, like, her older sister and all that. Um, I can't really remember all the details in that, but, you know, she had... Her, I think, I, I think her, I'm pretty sure her family like disowned like her older sister because she didn't want to take part of the hierarchy either. But you know, you know, and you know, time and time again, the, the the series has shown you that the hierarchy is broken, but also it's also shown you that it kind of works, and it, that that's the tricky part with breaking it. It's like, yeah, you can break it, and maybe you'll get the and you'll get like the high tears off of the cripples' backs and so on and so forth. But you also got to realize that that this structure may be, uh, you know, this structure might not be the best for everybody, but it's still structure. And people and human beings need structure. As much as I hate saying that, we do need structure in our lives and all that. So, but you know, get you know, like John tried, John tried to cool out. And then, for some odd strength, I can't remember the reason why Eisen just decided to dig up John's past, but he he just did. And actually, I think it was like John got in a fight and it looked like he was about to activate his ability, and he decided not to. And I think Eisen caught it. Like I said, just let me know in the comments below. There's a lot of stuff to remember and all that. But you know, John. And when Eisen realized, Eisen realizes after reading his file, he was like, "Yeah, this dude is not. No, we don't need this." type of smoke here at the school like it and, and you know but it's also messed up because it's like you know beforehand Eisen didn't bet didn't give two ifs about John like in the slightest any shape way form or fashion but as soon as he finds out John has this, pretty much the power to level the whole school he's like oh I need to treat this man with the respect that's that's terrible thing it's a terrible line of thinking to be perfectly honest and all that but you know and then and then afterwards you know what was I was talking about? Yeah, no. I was talking about his relationship with Serafina. So, you know, he got there. They met Seraf He met Serafina at first. They were not cool. They, but over time, they grew to come to like each other. And they became best friends. Arlo caught, Arlo caught wind of this. And he didn't like it. Because Arlo's whole thing is he's all about the hierarchy. I'm not mad at him about that. That's what he's grew up with. And he's seen it work. He's kind of seen the other end of the spectrum when you don't uphold the hierarchy it's it it was in his case it was pure chaos now will it be chaos all the time no not necessarily the case not necessarily but he in his case he saw that it was not working so he's like i'm going to put the hierarchy back in place and i'm going to rule with an iron fist and for the most part until he pretty much hit the uh, stirred the bees nest up with john the school was fine yes the 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 cripples were picked on by the low tiers and the low tiers by the mid tiers and so on and so forth. But there was peace. There was structure. For the most part, everybody was fine. Like, boiling points didn't reach too high and all that. Like I said, that's in that case in point, the system works. But it only works when you have someone who is actually able to assess in a situation and make the correct decisions that will benefit the most people because you'll never may be able to make a decision that will benefit everyone if you try to benefit everyone guess what everyone's going to suffer at some point in time it's just how it is it's proven fact and all that arlo realized that th there will be casualties but at the end of the day it will benefit the collect the whole collective you know arlo's pretty much arlo's whole thing is like i will sacrifice a few to save the many and John right now is kind of, well, actually, no, John's just kind of being, John's really throwing a temper tantrum, let's be honest. That's really what it is, and rightfully so. Like, like I was I was perfectly fine. I did not bother you. I never, you know, for the most part, we never talked until Serafina was out the picture. And then you set, you set, you got me beat up for, like, days and days. And then you tried to drag me, then you dragged me out to a random beach, and you beat me down again. And then you make me reveal my true nature. And actually, that was a tipping point. Because for the most part, John would get beat up. And he would, you know, he would, you know, he would, he would take it. And he'd be like, all right, fine. But that was also because he had Sarah with him. She, you know, she would pretty, she would calm him down. And she wouldn't know it. She wouldn't really know it. But she was, she was the linchpin in the whole thing, to be perfectly honest. As long as she was around whether she was they could talk on the phone or whatever he was good when when that all that got taken away he had no outlet training wasn't working his dad is always on the road 
and he's constantly getting picked on. Even when Arlo didn't set stuff up to get him jumped, people would just naturally pick with him because he was playing the role as a cripple and all that. So, I mean, and I know I'm all over the place with this, you know, like, you know, we're not being happy anymore. My main point is, I, I will not be mad if at by the end of this story, the only person left standing is like John on a pile of not literal corpses, but of corpses. Like, you know, just like he did what he had. He did what he said set, set out to do and he took no prisoners and it's done. Now, whether the world is better for it, I don't know. Whether the world is worse off for it, I don't know. It's just something I would like to personally see. I like, don't get it wrong. I love happy endings, but I don't always want to see a happy ending. And it, in life, you don't always get a happy ending. It's like, this is going to be a terrible analogy, but it's like, oh, my tire is flat. Just because you know your tire is flat is not going to stop that tire from getting any more flat than where it was when you first found out. Just because you found out that John is Joker does not mean you will be able to you will be able to come up with a strategy that will be able to put him down. For the most part, John is pretty he's really really airtight. The man is more than adept at fighting close combat. And he we've seen him fight multiple targets at once and even if he can't handle it we've seen him he's able to make someone use their ability case in point Blake Blake tried to fight him hand to hand didn't work Blake was like I gotta use my ability after that done on top of that they don't know John can combine abilities you put five people up against John he makes two of them use their abilities and they happen to click together it's a wrap then everyone's gonna panic and all that you see what I'm saying and it, it and my thing is crazy too. So like, like earlier this week, in what in the comment section on my last reaction and all that, I uh, someone commented. It was like, why is everyone so mad at John for doing what he's what he's what they've been doing to him? And I and I replied. I was like, well, they should know, but they are blinded by their fear. Now, like I said in that comment, you got to realize something. Even know that the Royals don't do their jobs very well. Let's be perfectly honest. The only one that really pulls their weight is Arlo. And right now, and before he messed with John, he hasn't been doing it. He, he, before he messed with John, he was doing a pretty good job. But after that, it all went downhill. But you got to realize something. The Royals are more than just the five strongest students in the school. They represent the pillars of of the school, the pillars of safety in the school. Like, yeah, we got our king, we got our queen, we got our jack, we got our ace, and we got our healer, and all that. I can't count, whatever. But, you know, and and J Joker, AKA John, has come in and he is systematically taking them down one by one. He's already taken down the, fo he's taken down the former queen. He took down the current Jack. And mind you, the Jack is supposed to take over the King position when the King finally graduates. So Arlo leaves next year because he's already a fourth year. And then Blake is supposed to be King. Your future King got wiped in a, in a matter of a few minutes. And then your Ace no longer has power. She's a cripple. So she's out. And then they don't know it, but their King has already been taken down and the only only person left in the way is your queen of course they're scared they don't know who this dude is all he does is come in beat them beat the crap out of him and then he leaves and then that's it he just leaves a pile of dead bodies in his wake and no one can stop him they try it doesn't work blake tried his hardest he got turned into swiss cheese i'm never going to stop saying that shout out to steph for that but you know it's you know it's, that's that's what i'm saying it's like just because you know who he is, does that really change anything? That's why I put it on my uh, thumbnail when I post it on other places. That's why I asked. Like, they know his identity. Does it really fix anything? Like, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to... Like, from what I can tell from the, how the chapter ended, when Arlo was thinking of Serafina, I really hope she doesn't get involved. But, I mean, they might get Serafina involved. She might even find out then. But, I mean, it might just be too late. 
and it just might and actually honestly I never really thought of it but that actually just might push John even further it's like because if Serafina let's say Serafina let's say when Serafina finds out she doesn't you know she doesn't like oh like I'm sorry this happened to you you know let's go let's go try and talk this out what if she just gets mad and she storms off I mean she's well within her right to because John has lied to her pretty much their entire time that they've known each other saying he was a cripple when technically he might be stronger than her I don't really know because until until they confirm or deny that John can only copy abilities that he can physically see or whatever and he sees the or he, or if he sees the aura or whatever until or chan or chan comes straight out and admits it uh this is just going to be a plausible thing for me this is how i feel about it but you know you know she's she she'll be mad she, she'll be like was our was our entire friendship a lie and you know she might get mad and storm off and in return that just might make John go even more crazy. He just might be like, you know what? Uh, I was going to stop at some point, but now I'm just going to go full throttle. Every day someone's catching the fade. Someone's going to catch a beat now. I don't care who you are. Low tier, mid tier, high tier, royal staff member. I don't care. You come across my path and you piss me off. That is it. That's a wrap for wh whoever you are. So it just, it just might end up being like that. Uh... You, like I said, you you see the tor you know the tornado is coming and you see it coming at you, but what can you really do besides hide? And even if you hide, that doesn't you no know, necessarily guarantee your safety. Uh, like I said, this I this, I know this video is like all over the place and all that. I um I might reshoot it to get my thoughts back together, but to get my thoughts more uh, collective than what they are. But I mean. Right now, I, I kind of don't want to see an ordinary end on like a happy note, like everybody turns out fine. Um, I kind of want to see actual consequences for this. Like you, like you just can't push someone like you can't push someone to the edge like this and just expect to them to be fine after you beg and plead or worse enough, you like, well, if he don't want to, if he don't want to accept my apology, I'll beat my apology into him. You know that's not that's not really uh, conducive for a, a, a good resolution. You know what I'm saying? But you know, tell me what you guys think about it in my Discord or in the comments below. Um, like I said, this video this video is pretty long, and like I'm, I'm running on like 22 minutes at this point and all that. But that's that's just what I really wanted to talk about. Um, I might I'm. I might revisit this topic. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to revisit this topic sometime in the future. I don't know when. Uh, just it, you'll see it when I drop it. But that's all I really wanted to say today. Um, like I said, tell me what you guys thought. Um, how would? How do you? Tell me one. No one. Two. Tell me how you think it's going to end, and tell me how you want it to end. Because those are you know those are two very separate answers. Like I said. I'm fine with either way it ends as long as long as the ending is respectful to our cast and their characters and like of who they are. I'm fine. You can kill them all off, but if they die in a way that would they would actually die in, I'm fine. Will it be sad? Yes, but I mean it's a story. It is what it is. It's a good part of good storytelling. Kill off someone that you love and you love the story ten times more. You'll hate it, but you'll always come back to it for the great memories that you had with that character. But you know. I'm done talking for today. Um, I really hope you guys are, uh, enjoy this video. Um, I'm gonna try and start doing more discussion series on or on Andre. Um, also, um, if y'all know about the video that I did where I said who is John, I'll leave that. I'll leave a card for that up here and all that. But I'm doing a whole series on that now. Uh, it's gonna be a series on each of our main cast: Arlo, Serafina, Remy, Blake, John. Um, I think I said John twice, but Cecile and all that. Um, I will be having special guests with me on those, so be on the lookout for those. Um, and, you know, with all that being said, guys, I'm sorry I took up so much of your time, but I really hope you enjoyed it. It's your boy Fox.